So the email shenanigans have continued and I have a doozy to share today. But before we talk about that, I just wanted to talk a little bit about fraud and what research has shown about people who are fraudsters. And I have been highlighting that Sarasota Tim is potentially a fraudster because he has a link to buy me a coffee and he talks openly about how he will pay it forward with his coffee donations and that he is doing this because he is a good godly man and he cares so much about those around him. He has also gained a lot of money on his buy me a coffee to purchase items such as golf shirts, golf shoes, lidocaine patches, a variety of items. And it seems that the receipts that we have that he is actually using these donations that he requests regularly from his audience are shown with his golf shirts, his golf shoes, him purchasing items in Walmart. But we have yet to see any evidence that Sarasota Tim does in fact pay any of these coffee donations forward. And in my mind, he is using religion and a supposed relationship of, with God, in my opinion, in order to get these donations from his subscribers. And just to give you a little bit about research on this, um, there is research, and I'll link the article down below, that shows that these fraudsters show great narcissism and psychopathy and exhibit antisocial behaviors. And these behaviors can include deception, cheating, manipulation, and even aggression. And I think we even saw aggression at one time when Tim was playing golf with his friend Jay. Other research has also shown that fraudsters lack social consciousness even if they seem outgoing and agreeable. And according to another study, there was a fraud diamond model. And what that showed that there are four elements. There is either an incentive, an opportunity, a rationalization, and capability. And these are all things that are necessary in order to commit fraudulent behavior. Now, Tim, though, is very popular on YouTube and has gained a lot of supporters and the, his supporters, potentially with his knowledge, have decided that they can start to go into people's emails and send harassing emails, threaten legal action, flood people's emails with emails that they have not subscribed to. I'm sorry, I said the word email five times there. So that's the kind of stuff that happens. But anyway, I've been calling Tim out, and as we know, and so I've been getting a little bit of backlash from his supporters. So let's get in, because I've had another shenanigan happen. So let's get that into that real quick. But at first, let me explain what a confidence trickster is. Confidence trickster noun British, a person who tricks other people in order to get their money, con artist. So the email reads, we have great news from the Internet Investigation Division. The Internet troll has been captured. His name is Robert Sanchez, Google employee residing in Mountain View, California. Thanks to Ray, who did her exceptional detective work in researching the IP address, city and zip code. Thanks to the Life and Vibe community for all of your tips. Robert Sanchez will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Timothy Baker Sr. is no longer under surveillance. Internet Investigation Division. Well, we know this is absolute twaddle bosh and nonsense <laughs> coming from one of Sarasota Tim's subscribers, trolls, minions, all under the direction of Sarasota Tim. Because Sarasota Tim has been CC'd on this and he never actually responds to any of this happening. So it's always interesting to see these things being sent to me. As you can see here, if I open up the CC to me, you can see it's sarasotatim at mail.com, which is the actual email address that Tim has listed on his YouTube channel about section. So he is clearly aware that this was sent. It's obviously fake. It's obviously a troll. 
And uh, again, I don't mind highlighting the IP addresses, but I also want to highlight the, uh, our Robert Sanchez, who do live in Mountain View, California. So if you are Robert Sanchez living in Mountain View, California, and I will not dox this person any further, then I would suggest that you reach out to uh, Google. Pretty bad that this troll would feel comfortable using the name of another person to say that they are responsible for this internet activity. And that's obviously a lie. So let's take a look here. Internet Investigations has an IP address of 209. 0 0.45.220.41 and as you will see in just a moment the IP address is exactly the same as the IP address that was given for Tim Baker Jr. Again it's 209.85.220.41 and it seems it's quite interesting that they are able to have the same IP address repeatedly. I mean, that's pretty good. I guess, you know, they're all sharing the same house, the same computer, uh, internet investigations. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty coincidental. I'm not a computer expert, but that would be pretty coincidental to be able to have so many times the exact same IP address. And as you will see, it also shows up in the IP address of Tim Baker's third wife. Again, it's 209.85.220.41. As I said, I'm not a computer expert. I do use VPNs often, or I used to, but sometimes it slows the computer down. And it's just ironic that they all three are sharing, I guess, the same IP address from the same computer. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of highlight again and share with you all the different shenanigans that are going on. And the fact that Sarasota Tim himself is quite aware these emails are being sent. So let me know in the comments below whether or not you believe that Sarasota Tim is a coffee fraudster and whether or not you think he is also participating in the email harassment towards me and other creators since he is cc'd on these emails and i would be curious to find out what you guys think flim flam noun a trick or deception especially a swindle or confidence game involving skillful persuasion or clever manipulation of the victim a piece of nonsense twaddle bosh that is the best cup of coffee i ever drink in my life if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe, hit the likes, you know what to do. Appreciate it.